The Premier has apologised over the solar panel fiasco. Colin Barnett says public pressure made him reverse a decision to slash solar panel rebates, affecting thousands of Perth householders. It's left the government with a $50 million black hole in its budget, which was only handed down last Thursday. After four days of public backlash, the Treasurer walked into Cabinet this morning, still determined to cut solar panel rebates. Is there any chance that you're going to reverse this decision? Well, from my point of view, um, the budget decisions have been made and we're now moving on focusing on implementing them. Just hours later, this backflip. Uh, I apologise. I'm sorry this happened. Uh, it was a mistake. We accept that. Uh, we reversed the decision. The plan was to slash the rebate from 40 cents per kilowatt to 20 cents, halving the amount homeowners would get back for signing up to the 10-year tariff deal. 75,000 WA households affected. We went too far. We learned the lessons. We backed off of it. I'm not embarrassed. Solar panel owners signed the contract with Synergy in 2011. Backbencher Rob Johnson was planning to cross the floor and vote against his party if it wasn't reversed and give them what they rightly deserve, and that's what was agreed to. I think morally we are wrong. Retiree Brian Mullen installed $36,000 worth of solar panels on his Gooseberry Hill home. It was part of the retirement plan to insulate myself from those costs. He was considering legal action. I believe it, it's the right thing morally, I believe legally and commercially. By reversing the decision, the state government will now have to find about $50 million extra for their budget. The Energy Minister promising today that the 40 cent tariff will remain until the end of the contract. Emma Sheridan, Nine News.